Und wir erwarten jetzt eine junge Schauspielerin, die derzeit am Schauspielhaus in Graz zu sehen ist. Sie kennen sie als preisgekrönte Hauptdarstellerin im Film Tag und Nacht von Sabine Deffliger und sie wird ein Gedicht vortragen von Charles Bernstein. Begrüßen Sie Anna Roth. Dear Mr. Fanelli, I saw your picture in the 79th Street station. You said you'd be interested in any comments I might have on the condition of the station, Mr. Fanelli. There is a lot of Debris in the 79th Street station that makes it unpleasant to wait in for more than a few minutes. The station could use a paint job and maybe new speakers so you could understand the delay announcements that are always being broadcast, Mr. Fanelli. There are a lot of people sleeping in the 79th Street station and it makes me sad to think they have no home to go to, Mr. Fanelli. Do you think you could find a more comfortable place for them to rest? It's pretty noisy in the subway, especially all those express trains hurtling through every few minutes anyway when the trains are in service. I have to admit, Mr. Fanelli, I think the 79th Street stations are in pretty bad shape. And sometimes at night, As I toss in my bed, I think the world's not doing too good either. And I wonder what's going to happen, where we are headed, if we are headed anywhere, if we even have heads, Mr. Fanelli. Do you think if we could just start with the 79th Street station and do what we could with that, then maybe we could, you know, I guess move on from there, Mr. Fanelli, when I saw your picture and the sign asking for suggestions, I thought if you really wanted to get to the bottom of what's wrong, then maybe it was my job to write to you. Maybe you've never been inside the 79th Street station because you're so busy managing the 72nd Street and 66th Street stations. Maybe you don't know the problems we have 79th, I mean the dirt and frequent delays and the feeling of total misery that pervades the place, Mr. Fanelli. Are you reading this far in the letter? Or do you get so many letters every day that you don't have time to give each on the close attention it desires, Mr. Fanelli. I hope you won't think I'm rude if I ask you a personal question. Do you get out of the office much? Do you go to the movies? Or do you prefer sports? Or maybe quiet evenings at a local restaurant. Do you read much, Mr. Fanelli? I don't mean just Gibbons and like that, but philosophy. Have you read much Hannah Arendt? Or do you prefer a more ideological perspective? understood where you are coming from, Mr. Fonelli, I could write to you more cogently, 
More persuasively, Mr. Fanel, if you get out of the city at all, I mean like up to Bear Mountain or out to Montauk. I mean, do you notice how unpleasant the air is in the 79th Street Station that we could use some cooling or air filtering system down there, Mr. Finale, do you think it's possible we could get together and talk about these things in person? There are a few other points I'd like to go over with you if I could get the chance, Mr. Fanelli. I haven't been feeling very good lately, and I thought meeting with you face to face might change my mood, might put me into a new frame of mind. Maybe we could have lunch, <clears throat> or maybe after work. Think about it, Mr. Fanelli.